Additional. All right, well, if you don't mind, I'll stand over here so I don't have my back to everybody. That'll be fine. I think that works out well better. Oh, all right, thank you. Uh, my name your good is, side. Thank you. My name is John Canty. I'm a 21 Blodgett Avenue in Duxbury, a resident. And I'm here to ask the town manager to extend the contract, the police chief's contract. I have in my possession 500 signatures uh, of that opinion gathered over the last 10 or 12 days. And I think I speak for them when I ask the town manager to extend this contract. We think that the uh, police chief is worthy of that. He's been here for 10 years now. He's done some very positive things with the youth, uh, with the seniors, uh, with, the, uh, with the women in terms of uh, aggression defense. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of positive uh, history with this good man, and so we want this police chief to stay. Uh, the town manager has said in the past that he has reasons, personal reasons, for not uh, extending the contract or renewing the contract. I'm asking uh, in front of the town, in front of the people, if he would be good enough to share with us those personal reasons. Sir. Would you like to give us the, um, the petition? Would you like to uh, I, No, I, 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 I'd be happy to make copies for you. Okay. These are originals. I'll make copies for you. Happy to do that. Okay, that's fine. It just if you wanted it to be part of the, um, well, the permanent record for the meeting, then if you can get those down to Barbara at some point, that would be great. All righty. Sir? I'm addressing you, sir. Mr. Canty. Yes, sir. In my position as town manager, I am charged with the responsibility to make employment contracts and decisions. These decisions are not made by the Board of Selectmen or any consensus by the community. This applies to all employment contracts and personnel matters. It is not the practice of the Town of Duxbury to discuss employee contracts or employee matters in a public forum. The Town Manager Act gives me the authority to make the decision. The decision to go in a different management direction is final, and I am not going to publicly discuss any employee contract. Period. Mm. Is that it, sir? That's it, sir. The good people in this room and throughout the town pay you $140,000 a year and a car and gas and expenses. Is that all you can give us, sir? I've made my statement, Mr. Kennedy. Thank you, your attention, sir. It's pretty, it's pretty much it. My father has no infractions in this town. He's done, he's done great things. Everybody likes him. He's straightforward. He has character. 13 years, and uh, I don't ordinarily get involved in the politics of the town. But on this one, you know, looking in from the outside, it just seems like we're, we're have a, we have a lose-lose situation going on. If the police uh, chief's contract is not renewed, we lose a great asset of this town because he's beloved and uh, he has a huge following and the town is wonderful because of him. Uh, if we go in a new direction, when things are good, I don't know where that what that direction is. <laughs> Why change something when it's really good? Uh, the other thing that I think would happen is, I don't know you, Mr. McDonald, and I, I and I wish I did. Uh, I've heard a lot of great things about you. People that do know you speak very highly of you. I think if the chief is run out of town, I'm predicting there'll be a groundswell to run you things in this town and they gel together so well. This town is protected more than any other town around here. And I cannot believe in my wildest imagination that you would even consider consider getting rid of Mark DeLuca. Okay? It's just unconscionable. No matter you know, whatever your ace in the hole you've got, we should know about it. This this town act, this is not a dictatorship. This is put in place supposedly so this one gentleman is gonna be the almighty gardener. So but when he's when there's things happening and he's making the wrong decisions, there has to be checks and balances. You guys have gotta work on something like do you know you smell a rat here? I would say it's gonna cost me caused by someone, like perhaps Mrs. Jewell, who decides to go to litigation. Another term we bandied about quite a bit tonight is democracy and the whole town. There are over 10,000 registered voters in the town of Duxbury. Where are they? They have not signed the petition, which means 95% of the voters in this town have not decided to sign the petition for whatever reason 
or show up here tonight. That's not a I can say that. That's not an My understanding was you've gathered 500 signatures. Randomly, it's not. A, we, it's not um, we're not going to get into how, a debate. How many? Excuse me, Mrs. Marshall. I'm, 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 no, no, Mrs. Marshall. Mrs. Marshall, this very quickly becomes something where no one is hurt. So let this gentleman finish. If, if you come back with 2,000 signatures, you now have 20 percent. But let's not claim that the whole town, because you don't know. That. Uh, my wife worked for the chief. Worked for this town for 10 years. Okay. I had a lawsuit against the town, against the chief. Um, and, and, uh, leaving the dump, uh, transfer station, um, I, I asked the gentleman, do you work for the chief? He said, no. And I said, well, you know, do you live in town? He said, yes, I do. I said, well, I got to let you know that, you know, he's not all that you think he's cracked up to be. Uh, and I don't think he's doing the right thing about this town. He said, well, you know, if you got that, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion. As I drove away, he wrote down my life. I, I, I mean, I have proof of changed reports. What? Okay. Um, How did you come across a police report? It was, it was um, Who gave you the police obtained report? by, it wasn't a police, well, it was obtained by her lawyer. Those are, those are protected. Those are protected. That's why I'm not showing it. It's not a police report. It's a report that you handed around the station and had the women fill up. You said police report a second. I said reports. I'll let you finish. I want to throw out the As long as you speak the truth. As long as you speak children were victims of a violent crime right here in this town. And thank God. I had that man on my side, my family's side. No, oh, there are a lot of people here that feel very, very strongly about this man mm -hmm. and what he represents in terms of town safety and the people here. We're going to be back next week. I hope we can get a bigger room. We're going to be back the next week and the next week and the next week with more signatures and more people because there's a very strong uprising in this town in favor of this man, keeping him <coughs> Maybe we could get the <laughs> <laughs> uh, response from uh, the town manager and, and the selectman. Yeah. Well, I'll keep it pretty simple. I was honored with uh, the turnout that I got with the uh, accolades that were given towards me. And, uh, and I'm going to leave it at that. What, what, what do you hope happens from here? Well, I'd like to keep my job. I'd like to stay here for another 10 years. I don't think I've done anything that deserves dismissal, and I think I've done a good job.